M9, how are you? I'm good, man. Wow, look at all that paraphernalia behind you. Amazing. Yeah. I I had already had the basement like this before everything happened, but all of a sudden I used this as a backdrop one time and it got so many rave reviews. It's like, I'm keeping it. <laughs> yeah, I, I agree. You're getting another rave review from me. All right. And that, <laughs> I'm putting that in the ad. Okay, great. <laughs> and even like for this movie, I was laughing, thinking about how now more people are getting out, you know, doing things like trips and cruises. Yeah, I think they're <laughs> going to see this and the island vacations are going to be, nope. <laughs> <laughs> I know, right? What what was that resort thinking that let me shoot there? <laughs> <laughs> They're going, oh, he'll probably have a little kid who sees things and it's like <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> completely different. It, it's just such, I guess the thing, because it is, you know, obviously people say, oh, is it horror or scary? And it's like the thing that makes it scary is it could be true, <laughs> wouldn't mm. you say? Yeah, I mean, I love that. That guy. I think you know the the, the 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 tone that I'm always trying to get is kind of grounded, supernatural. Kind of, you know, I, I get you close to. Oh, maybe there could be ghosts, or maybe there could be superheroes in the world, or you know, that that kind of you know, right on the edge, a little hyper hyper reality. And in this case, really, nothing that happens is all that unusual, except it's happening extremely fast. So when you look at our lives extremely fast, it's supernatural. And that was something else I thought of too, you know, like, it seems like only yesterday, you know, like you were a kid and yeah. now you're this, you know, older person and next thing you're going to blink your eye and you're going to be this even older person. It's like, yeah, they just experienced it all in one day, which it, it, took the rest of us years to do. Yeah. I think it's why I think people are connecting so much to the premise of the movie because it's, it is such a universal thing that we all feel when we see children and suddenly they're older that reminds us, oh my God, I'm, I means I must've gotten a lot older. Right, because I was going to joke with you and say, you know, I'm only 18. Look what happened after one day. <laughs> See, you went to the beach. I can't believe it. <laughs> I, did, I did. It's like, dang it. No, no more beaches. And, you know, just even the people who were in it. I mean, because one person who also really, when I say stood out, everybody stood out. But even like the Rufus Sewell character. Yeah. You know, this, this guy who you're just kind of like going, I would not want to be, you know, caught on an island with him. <laughs> Uh, Rufus is such an amazing actor. What a performance he gave. He, he's so, I'd never gotten to work with him before. He auditioned for me and he just blew me away and um, even surpassed that when he came to shoot the film. Um, everything he did for me was extraordinary. Just a, a, a riveting, scary performance he gave as Charles. No, that's that's for sure. And I'm looking forward to actually seeing it again. Uh, Great. Like you said, it, it is. It's just kind of like this whole mysterious and fun ride. But... I mean, I thank you so very, very much. I appreciate it and enjoy talking to you as always. Thank you, sir. Yeah, fabulous to see you. And uh, just have to say, even like with your with your character that you played, most of us when we were little kids all said, I want to be an adult right now. Yeah. For your guy, that kind of happened. Yeah. I mean, can, can you imagine that? I mean, just, you know, we, we would talk about when, with M. Night how it seems like only yesterday you were a kid. But, you know, to have something like that happen where it would just be one day would just be mind blowing, wouldn't you say? Yeah, I think that I think that the the that is how it feels. I think like for me, at least I, I feel that so much has happened and yet I still things feel so new. Like I, I the idea of like going places by myself without my parents holding my hand is still psychotic. Like I was traveling on a plane the other day and I'm like, I, I woke up kind of delirious thinking, where's my mom? And I was like, Oh, no, I'm alone, because I'm traveling alone. And it's just uh, kind of it's how I feel. I just think that the movie is such a great allegory for for, for what we're, you know, we deal with. No, and you're absolutely right. Because <clears throat> again, when I was talking about you, when I was talking earlier, with uh, night, it was like, yeah, you do you just feel like it was like just yesterday, you know, 10, then the next yeah. day, 20, the next thing, you know, it's 40 and whatever. And it just doesn't seem like it's been that long. It's been like in the blink of an eye. Not at all. And I think people don't realize that your hair, you know, gets gray and, and your face sags, but you're emotionally, you still like remember like not being picked for whatever basketball team or being bullied. And I still like I I I I remember swimming in the Dominican Republic and this the this school official swam away from me and I went like, and because I had an instinct of being a little kid. And I remember if I wasn't invited to a birthday party, I'd go, oh, I'd have that instinct so i feel like i i've changed even less than most people have and, and from what you just said you and i must have another thing in common and that is it was kind of like even 
uh, you know, they pick anybody other than me to be on the basketball team. It was always me and like the two other guys <laughs> sitting on the bleachers in the gym, all going, I'm going to get them one day. You know, <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's still a painful thing. It, it really is. But yeah, like you said, just watching this and it does open up your eyes to a lot of things too, because, you know, even uh, though we can't get really deep into it, but it's almost like, you know, this could really happen. Absolutely. Or, 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 I'd go a step further. This is really happening. You know, I, that's how yeah. I, that's the step further I'd go. This movie's really happening. It's happening to us. And it moved, life moves incrementally enough that we don't exactly notice, but this is just a representation. In some ways, I joke, this movie is a documentary of my life. It's how I feel a little bit. I, I go along with you and I look forward to watching it again. Alex, thank you so much for your time. And, thank uh, you, man. I've made the and joke hey, about hey, it. it's not yeah. your fault they didn't pick you for the basketball team. I like you. It's man. not you. It's them. That's right. Dog on it. Jerks. <laughs> Jerks. I'm going to have to have you back. Fantastic. You better have me back. You got You better it. pick me. Because if you I don't will. pick me, I'm going to start crying. We'll be the here. captains of our own team. Yeah, exactly. Here we go. Yeah. Fuck our middle school friends. <laughs> we don't need them. We got each other.